Yesterday, I have taken a problem regarding diagonalization of the matrix A. Yeah. Today, let us take some other special type of problems regarding the same. Suppose the matrix A is 2, 2, 1, 1, 3, 1, 1, 2, 2. This is the matrix A. This is to be diagonalized. If when the eigenvalues are, when eigenvalues are given to be lambda is equal to 1, another eigenvalue is also, another eigenvalue is 5. That means lambda is equal to 1, 1 repeated 2 times 5. Now, when, when these eigenvalues are given, using these eigenvalues, I have to diagonalize this matrix. What is the procedure? You know the procedure. Uh, what are, what are the principal elements? Elements 2, 3, 2. Now so let us replace this 2 by 2 minus lambda, 2 right categories, 1 right categories, this is 1. This 3 is to be written as 3 minus lambda, first row, first element, 2. Replace it by 2 minus lambda. Second row, second element, 3. This is to be replaced by 3 minus lambda. Third row, third element, this 2 is to be replaced by 2 minus lambda 1, 2, into, since this is a 3 cross 3 matrix, I am using x, y, z. So, if it is a 2 cross 2 matrix, I would have used only x, y, that is equal to 0. Now, let us take the case 1, case 1. What is case 1? Lambda is equal to 1. So, both if I substitute lambda is equal to 1, then what happens? We put lambda is equal to 1. So what I am doing, substitute lambda is equal to 1. If I substitute lambda is equal to 1, what you are getting? 2 minus 1, 1, right? 2, 1, right? 1, 3 minus 1, that is 2, 1. Next, 1, 2, 2 minus lambda is 1, 2 minus 1, 1. Now observe the important points here. All rows are same. 1 to 1, 1 to 1, 1 to 1. Now suppose if I use uh, like 1 into x plus 2 in, first let us write the equation 1 into x plus 2 into y plus 1 into z that is equal to 0. So same equation you are getting x plus 2y plus z is equal to 0. Here also you are getting the same equation x plus 2y plus z is equal to 0. Now, like in the previous problem, suppose if I try to find x by determinant minus y by determinant x z by determinant. What happens? x by determinant. Then 2, 1. x by determinant means remove the x column. Suppose you are considering these two equations. Say, remove x, then 2, 1, 2, 1, and it 2, 1. 2, 1, okay? So that 2, 1, 2, 1, x minus y by 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. If I take z, forget about z, write the coefficients of x, y, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Now, x is equal to 2 into 1, 2, minus 2, to 0, minus y is equal to, always second variable minus sign, 1 into 1, 1, 1 minus 1, 0, z is equal to 1 into 2, 2, 2 minus 2, 0. So in this case, what I have to do? x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0, z is equal to 0, you are getting. Now, when you are getting this type of problem, then, we need to find the eigenvector by some other method. What is the method? The method is like this. First, how many linearly independent eigenvectors are available for this eigenvalue? Now, what is the rank of this matrix? R2 minus R1, this becomes 0. Completely this becomes 0 if you find the rank. When all rows are same, this becomes completely 0. This also becomes completely 0, then the rank remains 1. So, rank of, if you find the rank of this matrix 1, 
two one one two one one two one. It is equal to now number of linear way independent vectors. Number of linear way independent vectors is equal to I can say number of rows of number of variables number of rows three minus rank. What is rank? 3 minus 1. So they must so two linearly independent eigen vectors I have to find it. Question is how to find the two linearly independent eigen vectors. So rather what I am doing, I am considering any one of this equation. All equations are same. Consider this equation x plus 2y plus z is equal to 0. Consider the equation x plus Right? 2y plus z is equal to 0. Now substitute z is equal to 0 here. If I substitute z is equal to 0, what you are getting? x plus 2y is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to minus 2y. Right? What you are getting? x is equal to minus 2y. Now suppose if I keep y is equal to 1, if I substitute y is equal to 1 here, then y is x minus 2. So therefore, therefore, right, x, y, z, one linearly independent eigenvector is, what is the value of x is 1? Minus 2. What is y? y is 1. Here I am x, y, z is, right, minus 2. What is y? y is 1. What is it? Z is C. So, one eigen linearly independent eigen vector, what I got is, so it is not visible, so I will repeat it. I will repeat it. Same thing, I will repeat it. Observe that. What you got? The equation, you are considering any one of this equation, x plus 2 y plus z is equal to 0. Put z is equal to 0. Then what are you getting? x plus 2 y is equal to 0. Therefore, by this, so what you got? If I substitute z is equal to 0, what you are getting? x plus 2 y is equal to 0. Now, put y is equal to substitute, right? y is equal to 1. Then what is the value of x? x plus 2 is equal to 0, x will be minus 2. So, therefore, one linearly independent eigen vector you are getting is x, y, z. What is the value of x? Minus 2. What is the value of y? 1. Right? What is the value of z? Z is 0. This is one linearly independent eigen vector. Let us call this as z, v, 1. Similarly, I am finding one more linearly independent eigen vector. How? Another way of other linearly independent eigen vector to find another linearly independent eigen vector. Okay, what I am doing? Consider the same equation x plus 2y plus z is equal to 0. I have already substituted z is equal to 0. Now, other option is put y is equal to 0. So, if I substitute y is equal to 0, already I have taken z is equal to 0 and therefore I got this v1. Now let us substitute y is equal to 0. If I put y is equal to 0, then what happens? Yeah. So this is the equation. If I substitute y is equal to 0, you are getting x plus z is equal to 0. Now let us substitute z is equal to plus 1. Or z is any number if you want to give no problem. Suppose if I keep z is equal to minus 1, substituting z is equal to minus 1. Then what happens if I put z is equal to minus 1, x is equal to 1. Therefore, x, y, z is, you are getting, what is x? 1. What is y? 0. y is 0. What is z? z is minus 1. This is the another linear independent vector you are getting v2. So now I can say this set v1 and v2, this vector and this vector. Uh, 
that is S is equal to V1, V2. This set is linearly independent set of eigenvectors corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda is equal to 1. So we got V1, V2. So remember, this is V1, this is V2, I need this, let me take it. So therefore, I shall, I shall uh, write here that V1 and V2. Right? So this is 2 minus lambda, this is 2. So what is V1? V1 I got is this, this to be minus 2, 1, 0. V2 I got that to be, V2 is equal to 1, 0, minus 1. Now, I have to find V3. How to find out? See, V1, V2 is corresponding to the first eigenvalue lambda is equal to uh, 1. Now let us take the other eigenvalue. What is the other eigenvalue given? The other eigenvalue that is given is the what are the eigenvalues? 1, 1, 5. So for lambda is equal to 1, we have already found. Now let us take the another eigenvalue lambda is equal to 5. So I am repeating the same process for lambda is equal to 5. Second eigenvalue I am taking. Same process, whatever I have done. Completely you repeat it for lambda is equal to 5. If I put lambda is equal to 5, 2 minus 5, minus 3, 2, 1, right? Minus 3, 2, 1, 1. Put lambda is equal to 5, 3 minus 5, minus 2, 1. Next, 1, 2, 2 minus, what is lambda? Lambda is 5, minus 3. Now, write this, x y z is equal to 0. Now, form the equation first. So, when I form the equation, what you are getting? Minus 3x, minus 3x, here I will write, minus 3x, next, plus 2y, plus 2y, plus z is equal to 0. Next, x minus 2y, x minus 2y, x minus 2y plus z is equal to 0. Next, x plus 2y minus 3z, x plus 2y minus 3z is equal to 0. Now we consider any two equations when solve for x, y, z. So x divided by the determinant. x minus second variable y divided by the determinant. x z divided by the determinant. Third value was z. Now x, y. Suppose if I am taking x, then if I am taking x, forget this x column, write the coefficients of y and z. 2, 1, of the, I am considering equation 1 and 2, remove this x, then what? x, by means, observe, you are removing this x column, and you are taking only the values between y and z. 2, 1, 2, 1, here, minus 2, 1, minus 2, 1. Next, minus second variable y, I told you always minus second variable y, divided by, that is divided by, minus 3, 1, minus 3, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So, minus second variable divided by, minus 3, 1, here 1, here 1. Next, z divided by, let on right, minus 3, 2, here 1 minus 2. Right? So if you find the value of x, x is equal to 2 into 1, 2 minus, so multiply it. 2 into 1, 2 minus, 1 into minus 2 minus 2, so that becomes x is equal to 4. Considering minus y, minus y is equal to minus 3 into 1, minus 3, 1 into minus, 1 into 1, 1. So minus y is equal to minus 4 y is equal to plus 4. Coming to z, z is equal to minus 3 into minus 2 plus 6, minus 3 into minus 2 plus 6 minus 2 into 1, 2, so therefore z is equal to 4. So if I divide by 4, x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1, z is equal to 1, what to So this is the another vector that is 
v3 for the eigenvalue lambda is equal to 5. So therefore you got v3 is equal to 1, 1, 1. Now what are the eigenvalues you have? The eigenvalues are lambda is equal to 5, 1, 1. These are the eigenvalues. Now, so corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda is equal to 1, I have found two eigenvectors. Observe the point. Corresponding to lambda is equal to 1. I got in a formal system of equations, I got x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0, z is equal to 0. Therefore, I used the point, what is that? Number of linearly independent eigenvectors is equal to number of those 3 minus rank. You are getting x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0, z is equal to 0, just because rank became equal to 1. 3 minus 1. Two linearly independent eigenvectors you are getting for lambda is equal to 1. What are those eigenvectors? V1 and V2. Next, I have to find one more eigenvector. So I use a substituted lambda is equal to 5 here. When I substituted lambda is equal to 5, this is the system I got. Now, what is the system of equation minus 3x plus 2y plus z is equal to 0? Like that, 1x minus 2y plus 1z is equal to 0. Next, 1x plus 2y minus 3z is equal to 0. So when I did this, I got, when I, and, and when I saw this, I got the third eigenvector v3 is equal to 1, 1, 1. So now you are forming the matrix P is equal to v1, v2, v3. So what is v1? v1 is minus 2, 1, 0. v2 is 1, 0. Minus 1, minus 2, 1, 0. V2 is 1, 0, minus 1. Next, V3 is 1, 1, 1. So you got what is P. Now, after forming P, next what I have to find? I have to find, right, P inverse. So find the P inverse using Kramer's rule or some other rule. Operate the calculator, then you will get P inverse. What is the value for P inverse? Verify that minus 1 by 4, half minus 1 by 4, right? Minus 1 by 4, minus half, 3 by 4, 1 by 4, 1 by 2, 1 by 4. This is what you are getting. So this is the P inverse. Right. Next step what you have to do is P inverse V to P. When you find P inverse AP, that means P inverse is this. What is A? Given problem. A is given problem. This is my P inverse. A is given example, problem. Given matrix A. What is P? P is this one. That is this is my P. Substitute, take this product, first you are finding AP, first you find the product AP, that means multiply the matrix A and matrix P, you will get some matrix. A and a matrix to multiply only, you will get some matrix. That matrix should be multiplied to P inverse. That matrix. First you find the product AP, next you multiply that with P inverse. When you do that, you will get the answer like this, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 5. It should be of this form, you know, this is a diagonal matrix. Why is this a diagonal matrix? Because along the diagonal, the elements are not equal to 0. Along the principal diagonal, the elements are not equal to 0. One is not, this is not equal, this is not. All other elements, of the, they are zero. Therefore, this is a diagonal matrix. So when you perform P inverse AP, you always get lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda. Lambda 1 is 1, lambda 2 is 1, lambda 3 is 5. That is what we have done. So that is how we are able to get the diagonal matrix like this using P inverse AP. 
Okay, let us start at this point. <laughs>